Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at strategy and tactics number 139, Arabian Nightmare, the Kuwaiti War by Austin Bay. This is a special Middle East issue. Uh, let's see, it's produced by 3W in November of 1990. The game comes with basically three games, the political game, the military game, and the introductory game. We'll be taking a look at the introductory game today. The uh, game equipment inventory is a map sheet, 300 die cut counters, rules and charts, and two dice are required to be supplied by the player. As its name might imply, the introductory game is quite simpler than uh, the advanced military or the political game. This is more or less like your movement, combat, movement, combat routine. In the table of contents we have introductory game setup, sequence of play, movement, stacking, zones of control, air forces, which in this game are basically just air points. In the more advanced games, they actually have air units with uh, information on them for air to air, air to ground, that type of thing. But in this case, we just use air, uh, air units as air points. Um, let's see, we have combat, reinforcements, victory conditions, and then we have some combat hints for novice players. And let's see, we just have an introductory game set up, setting up the game, how to get started, playing pieces. Now, in the original game, uh, over here they didn't put in the actual icons of the units that they are, you know, that we use to set up the game. So at some point they printed out a corrected sheet that had these actual icons and uh, unit identifications. So I just basically taped mine into the center of the rule book here uh, because there's nothing much I could do with this except just, you know, it's got the introductory game uh, title on it. So anyway, um, for those of you who have this copy and this page over here is blank, you can find this uh, somewhere. I don't know if it, it says it replaces page two, so I'm guessing this was uh, added as an errata sheet somewhere. Anyway, we have the sequence of play. It's played in phases, basically. Phase one is the Iraqi player's movement. Phase two is the Iraqi player combat phase. Phase three, we have the allied player movement. Phase four, the allied player combat. And phase five is where we get reinforcements and check for victory conditions, that type of thing. Then up here we have movement. Tells you all about how to move uh, ground units, basically. And then we have what? Stacking at the top, zones control. We have air forces, which I said were just basically air points. You can commit these air points to the attack or the defense, and they basically give you a sh positive or negative shift in your favor. Then we have the rules on combat, which is uh, pretty much attack adjacent units if you want to. Um, the attacker can attack with any or all of his units. The defender must defend with all units, that type of thing. There is a thing on chemical warfare down here at the bottom, but I'll probably just ignore that for the most part. And then what do we have? <clears throat> we have, if you can see this to the glare, what do we have? Reinforcements in the game turn track. At the top we have victory conditions, and then the combat hints for novice players. Then we have what begins the reinforcements and game turn tracks. Um, like on game turn one, we'll have one four five five Egyptian parachute brigade enter and one two ten Omani infantry brigade. Then on game turn two, we'll get uh, all these units. 
game turn three, we'll get all these units and so on and so forth. Combat results table. Fairly simplistic. It uh, uses a differential system and uh, other than shifting uh, left or right due to air power, you pretty much just roll a die on the differential column and you'll come up with uh, defender eliminated, attacker eliminated, defender retreat or attacker retreat. You can advance after combat I think with two units from the uh, attacking side only. And then we have a terrain effects chart which is pretty simple in the introductory game. And that's basically all there is to it. Yep, that's pretty much all there is to the introductory game. Like I said, that's the one I'm going to be playing. Um, it's been, what, 20 years now? Yeah, no. Yeah, it's been at least 20 years since the Gulf War. Desert Storm, 1990 to 2000, 2020. Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, when I come back, we'll start game turn one.